Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, let me talk to you right now. I have another modern day black woman who wants to know why nobody wants them and why if they do want a woman or choose one, why are they choosing the plain Jane traditional woman? And I'm going to play these clips for you. And maybe some of you women can get an explanation out of this. Hold on one second as I put it on your screen, man. Let me get to it. Oh, yeah. We better do it. Boom. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's get it. That girl said, how come guys go for plain James? It's because you bitches ain't got no personality. <laughs> like, let's be real. Let's be real. Like, y'all conversations consist of y'all next hair and nail appointment, what kind of money that nigga got, and, and nothing else. Like, y'all don't, y'all not genuine. Y'all ain't got nothing to talk about. Y'all, y'all ain't got nothing y'all passionate about for real. Talking about the modern woman, the only thing you care about is how much money a man got. You're so superficial. You care about, I don't know why this one got this fire red hair on the head, but it's kind of weird, kind of almost hypocritical. But basically, you all, all you care about is your hairstyle, your nails getting done, you know, eating booty and dating pookies, Ray Rays and Nook Nooks. Let's keep going. Talk about y'all, y'all ain't got nothing y'all passionate about for real. You bitches are just boring. So that's why y'all looks is y'all personality. And that's why y'all don't get chose because y'all only something to look at. Duh. In other words, you're something to play with, but you're nothing to stay with. That's what she's saying. Now let's get to the next lady. Who's also going to break it down for you women who don't really under it's crazy. You act like you don't understand. You got to understand. I think you do. I just think what it is. You don't want to change for a man. That's all that is. That's what it really come down to. You want to do what you want because you are a musty back heifer. Let's go. I just want to say this because this really been on my mind lately. I have nothing against the plain Jane females, you know, and what I mean by that, like the females who doesn't go out. The female who doesn't like get their makeup done, the female who doesn't really get their hair done often. The plain giant females, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't have nothing against y'all, but why is it so hard for us pretty girls to come across a decent guy? It just. Pretty where? I mean, you're a nice looking woman, but if you take off that makeup, them fake ass eyelashes, that fake weed, all that stuff. I guarantee you, you're going to drop down a few numbers. You, you, if you think you're a 10, I guarantee you're going to drop down to a 504. All right. We don't want women who don't have traditional mindsets. We don't want a woman who refuses to treat her man right. That's the problem. That's why we will step over a woman like you who may be fine and choose a woman who is just average or cute enough for us to want to be with. We'll be with that one because it's less stress, less trauma bonds to deal with. Hopefully no baby daddies, but that's rare. But we'd rather choose that woman who would not stress us out, have us confused, make us feel unappreciated, make us feel welcome. A woman who is pleasant to be around, we'd rather choose her over you, no matter how fine you are. Yeah, we'll hit the coochie. We'll do all that stuff. But at the end of the day, a man don't want to deal with a pretty hell raiser. We don't want that. We don't want no pretty hell razor. We would rather take a woman who work at Burger King that looks nice, who's fine, but can treat us good over a woman who thinks she's a 10, who thinks the world owes her everything. Can you dig it? Just seem like all the guys, the good guys always like cuff the plain Jane females. And I feel like, you know, us pretty girls, and I'm not calling the plain Jane females ugly. I'm just saying like the pretty girls, that's extra, you know. You know, we love to dress up, we love fashion, we love keeping our nails and our hair done. And we just like. And that's the problem. You love to keep those things going. But you don't love to respect a man. You don't love to appreciate a man. You don't love to think about a day. You cannot give us words of affirmation or encouragement. You don't try to soothe us. You love doing everything that doesn't have anything to do about being with a man in a relationship. You make those things priority, but you never make the man priority. You make yourself priority because you are selfish and not selfless. So that's why we will rather be with a plain Jane, as you call her. Some of you call her um, pick me's and all this other stuff. You can call her whatever you want to call her. At the end of the day, the man going to call that woman wife.
You can call her pick me. You can call her plain Jane. You can call her boring. You can call her all those things. But at the end of the day, he going to call that woman the mother of his children. While you running around here popping coochie, making your booty twerk, all the twerk went all over the floor. That's what you're doing while we got a woman that's trying to be a homemaker who's not. We want a woman who, be a, who will be a homemaker, not a home wrecker. Because that's what you are. You wreck up the homes. You destroy the homes. You destroy the families. You know, and that's what it is. That's that's why we rather have what you call a plain Jane. We just like to look good, you know what I'm saying? But my thing is, it's 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 hard being a pretty girl because I feel like it's a curse. Because I feel like we go through so much, and I feel like we always gotta prove ourselves to a nigga, for a nigga to realize like we we are the one, like we good, we a good girl. But I just feel like, you know, being pretty is just a fucking curse. And. You know, I but would somebody tell this woman that she's not as pretty as she thinks she is, man? I done dealt with, you know, guys or whatever, and I done, you know, have a conversation with guys, and they'll be like, oh, I'm scared of you. Like, what? What you mean you scared of me? Like, I don't be getting that. Like, what you mean? Why, why are you scared of me? I'm not going to harm you, little old me. Like, I'm not going to harm you. I'm not going to hurt you. So why would you feel like you scared of me. I don't know, is it? I don't know what type of man you deal with that walk up to you and say, hey, babe, I'm scared of you. That's a beta like a motherfucker. I'll never tell a woman that stuff. Now, if they're trying to say to you, because they lack the ability to be articulate and say, look, I am concerned about getting involved with a woman who may do me wrong because of my past experiences. That's one thing. But a man is not scared of a woman, man. I don't know where y'all keep getting that shit from. We are not afraid of y'all. There's no reason to be afraid of a woman, man because they know we got options and they feel like we can find some bad somebody um that's better than them or something like that because i don't know i just need answers from the guys i need anybody to come in or inbox me and let me know why do guys always say that to pretty girls they always say oh i'm scared of you um i'm scared of love i'm scared to date you why is that now, some of that is game also now. Yeah, I tell a woman that too. Now, I'm scared to be in a relationship. I don't want to be committed because I've been hurt before. Because I know you're going to give what I want without the requirement of a commitment. You're still going to give me them coochies lips. You're going to give me that coochie lips. You're going to give me them draw. You're gonna, I'm going to do whatever I want to do to your body and just drag you along. And, say, and while you're still trying to convince me to get in a relationship with you, I'm still going to tell you things like that. Like, man, how do I know you're the one? How do I know this is real? How can I know I trust you? And you'll be like, yeah, because, you know, I'm this type of woman. I won't do this to you. Meanwhile, during the whole conversation, I am beating the brakes off that coochie the entire time. Now, it's going to take you a while to realize the game. Sooner or later, you get tired of it and want to leave that man alone. But until then, he going to have all the fun he can with your womb until then. I mean, some of you women don't have no understanding of game. I tell you that at I That's crazy, man. I just need answer. Him. And it's because, because y'all go and cuff the plain giant females. Y'all go marry them. Y'all go do anything to please them. Y'all treat them like the queen that they are. And like I said, I don't have nothing against the plain giant females. I'm speaking for... The females, they keep their hair, their nails done, just keep their stuff up every day, all day. So I need answers. Somebody please, yeah. <laughs> Something wrong with her because she make it seem as if the plain Janes, quote unquote, don't keep their hair up or their nails did. That's, that's a lie. What it is, it's a personality problem, personality flaw. We don't want you because of what we see in your personality. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this topic, man. I'll be hollering at y'all pretty soon. Yeah, take it easy. Be safe now, you hear? <laughs>